Voters in Dorset will be asked to approve a proposed town budget of about $2.7 million when they go to the polls on March 1st, town meeting day. Early voting is also an option. Those who wish to do so should check in with the town clerk's office. Voting will take place at the town office on Mad Tom Road in East Dorset. Town officials will also be holding an informational meeting electronically on the articles contained in the warning. That will take place on Monday, February 28th, starting at 7 p.m. To learn more about what's in the budget and warrant articles, we talked with Dorset's town manager, Rob Giotti. In Dorset, uh, is similar to some other towns um, you know, in and around our area, we've made the decision to hold an all-virtual um, informational meeting um, as this basically the same as what was done last year. Um, normally, we utilize the Dorset School and um, a hybrid uh, style meeting, I think, was... Uh, was was something that was the uh, technology and the prospects I think make that difficult. It tends to be hard for the for both groups to interact, uh, the people in the room versus the people that are on Zoom to kind of hear or interact. So we um, voted to go all virtual, uh, which means that all the voted articles um, will be Australian ballot like they were last year. Um, so we typically have um, you know anywhere from you know, 18 to 20, you know, 25 articles or so um, that that are that show up on the warning. Uh, most, the bulk of which, you know, there are the setting of tax uh, collection dates and delinquency dates. The in general, the town budget uh, from fiscal 22 to 23 is um, projected to go up around 3.2 percent um, in total. Um, you know, the couple of um, items that are baked into that budget are, are things like, uh, you know, last year we had, a, we had approved a bond um, for a new town office. Um, we've got some funding in this year's um, budget to essentially start to plan for future bond payments. Um, we're still in the permitting process for the project, so we're, you know, we're probably looking at a groundbreaking sometime in the spring of 23. Um, but it, we most likely we'll have one or two budget cycles to save a little money up um, and, and uh, stash it away so that when we get to the repayment of that bond, that the full amount of that won't be um, showing up in our, um, you know, in our budget all, all in one fell swoop, which would have a, you know, a, a negative impact on, on kind of pushing rates up. So um, there's $75,000 in, the, in our budget to kind of start that. Um, it's a, that's about um, 60% or, uh, or a little more of what the actual bond payment eventually will be, depending on the, you know, the final kind of scope of the, of the project. Um, another piece is that we're, um, you know, for better, better for worse, unfortunately for us, but fortunately for Sandy, she's our town clerk and she's talking about, um, you know, transitioning to, to part-time and then retiring. And so we've we've included um, kind of a transition package um, in this in this budget um, to allow for the hiring of, of a full time assistant clerk that can be trained, um, you know, for probably twelve to eighteen months. Um, you know, one of the th unique things about clerks is that they run elections, and those don't happen all the time. They happen, you know, once a year. Or, you know, the large general elections happen every few years. Um, so our hope is to get through a, an election cycle or two, um, both local and then, um, you know, state and then have that transition go through. And, um, you know, we're really fortunate to have Sandy, um, here, and uh, we are going to be, you know, sad to see her leave and we're hoping we can make the transition last a little while. So she'll be around for a while. Those are kind of the two big things that it, that's in our budget. You know, as, as far as tax rates, um, you know, our grand list, um, you know, is, is we're expecting it to go up you know, anywhere from, you know, three to, um, we try to be conservative, but 3% to, you know, maybe as high as much as eight or 9%. Um, so ultimately we, we see that, um, you know, that, that 3.2%, um, uh, increase on the budget from year to year probably is going to correlate to or probably around a 4% um, tax increase, uh, which would get us in the realm of, 
is somewhere around 33 or 34 cents per hundred, um, which is, you know, it's a, maybe about a penny uh, per hundred more from, from last year. One article on Dorset's warning is for the proposed field house in Manchester. It's an advisory vote, and Dorset's contribution is estimated at $1.3 million via a 30-year bond. Um, the, the functionality is um, planned to be a bond. Um, so, you know, $1.3 million over 30 years um, is around $60,000 a year. Um, so that's, that's, that's the number, I guess, that we'd be asked to, to put in. I think um, the approach that the select board took um, – with this article was that, um, you know, there, we didn't get a lot of feedback, um, at, at our meetings when, when it was presented. Um, you know, I think at the, the meeting, um, at the Dorset school was, which was one of the early informational meetings, there might've been a couple dozen people there. Um, so not a lot of feedback, positive, negative, otherwise. So it's kind of hard to gauge where people are. Um, so, which I think helps with the, you know, having the advisory vote gives you a better sense of, um, people's thoughts of it. Uh, so our article um, is more or less the actual voted article um, that um, was provided by the proponents was put into our warning, and we've added, um, you know, a, a little bit of information at the bottom of that, um, just kind of on the pretense of you know people are busy and not everybody has the time to either sit through a select board meeting or to. Um, have gone to one of the informational meetings, you know, maybe they've read a little bit about it, but they don't know kind of specifically what it, you know, what it means, um, you know, for them as a, you know, in this case, as a taxpayer and voter and endorse it. Um, so we've got a uh, kind of a par paragraph of language in there that basically, you know, explains that it's, it's a $1.3 million bond for 30 years. Um, you know, that the current plan is for the building to be owned and operated by, by Manchester. Um, and that our plan is if the, if the advisory article passes, the select board will then, um, you know, has the ability to participate in the negotiation of a, you know, an interlocal agreement, uh, between all the towns, um, to give representation on, uh, an advisory board, um, for the field house. Um, and then kind of, you know, pending that agreement being in place, then a, a follow-up, um, bond vote would then, um, would, would then occur. Other articles on Dorset's warning include a request for $15,000 to the Dorset Marble Preservation Association for the purpose of restoring Dorset's marble sidewalks, a request for $20,000 to the Dorset Players to help sustain the Dorset Playhouse Preservation and Maintenance Fund for ongoing repairs to the Playhouse, and whether or not voters wish to appropriate the sum of $13,000 to the North Shore Day School to help them defray the cost of early childhood education services in the region. Again, Dorset's informational meeting will start at 7 p.m. on Monday, February 28th, with Australian ballot voting held on Tuesday, March 1st, at the Town Hall. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.